Okay, here we have the Krups 5240 coffee maker. This is quite a reasonable product. It's German engineered. It's made in China as far as we can make out. And does it make good coffee? Yes, it does. But it has two rather nasty little problems that an awful lot of Krups customers have found. And the first one is a problem with this steamer here. What happens is you're doing your coffee and this thing just blows off. Here we have the frother which has all sorts of problems that people run into. The biggest problem is these three clips here which hold it onto the wand tend to break off. Now one of the problems that not every user understands is to get this off the wand you have to slide this collar down and then it just comes off. Now the second thing is this frother has to be kept clean. So you can take it apart like this. Unscrew it here. So here's the part that gets blocked. We've got three holes. There's one hole that goes through there, one through here, and there's one in the middle. Now these ones here, you can clean these out with a with a needle or a pin, something enough just to poke the the, the holes clean. But cleaning out the centre one is a problem. What we found is a 564th drill bit, one of these. You can buy these for a couple of bucks at the local hardware store. It's perfect for cleaning the gunk out of this tube. Fits down nicely, you can just rotate it like that a bit. And the first time you do this, you'll probably find there's a lot of crud that comes out. It's milk build up and other stuff. And again, you, with your needle, you just poke out the centre hole. The main thing is, you should be able to look through this and see three holes. Because if you don't uh, clean this out on a regular basis, like maybe once a week or so, that's what causes the, the frother to blow off the wand. So we put it all back together, like this. And we're done. The second problem that a lot of people have with the 5240 and apparently other similar models is that the steamer wand over here is very fragile and the damn thing breaks off. Let's have a look. Here's the steamer wand. This is the thing that has the problem because it tends to break off. See, there's a certain amount of movement backwards and forwards and roundabout that's supposed to be there. That's normal. But what happens is one day you're using it and it breaks off right there. The way this is designed we have a plastic ball joint here there's a threaded stub here which goes up into the wand and when this is assembled this part here is glued the on, onto the thread so it doesn't move. So when, it, when you move the item like this, the whole thing, the wand and the ball joint, moves in concert. The ball joint itself has quite a, a lot of stiffness in movement, so eventually you, what you have is a shearing force on the bottom of the shaft there, and eventually that causes the plastic to break. So our problem is, can we fix this? Because Krupps can't and won't. The M10 threaded tube that we manufactured and we've press fitted into the plastic here has been attached here into the wand. We used a bit of thread locker to make sure that it, everything is locked solid. So we see now we move the wand, and if you look at the white plastic dot there, we move the wand and the ball joint moves properly with it. Now we've tested this out making coffee. We don't get any steam leaking out of here and everything comes out here like it's supposed to and the thing works perfectly. Now, because this is a steel threaded tube that fits into the ball joint, this is not going to break.
Okay, we're ready to do the steamer. We'll just move one of the cups out of the way. Turn the steamer on. And here we have the repaired steamer doing its job just fine. And there's no steam blowing out of the, the, where the wand attaches to the ball joint. The main thing is, of course, when you're doing this, you don't want to bump the, the proper wand, otherwise it will come off. And I won't demonstrate that. Okay, that'll do it. And time for some coffee.